news. I mean, it's been a year of craziness. Uh, I can't believe it's finally happening, but I'm super excited to marry you. Ben, it's been a crazy eight years. I can't believe that we're here. It's so exciting and I can't wait to see you today and to be married to my best friend. you guys go on your first date? Our first date? Um, I don't know if you would count it. <laughs> we were actually up here. Uh, we went and uh, went to Boston Pizza where Ben worked and uh, had some drinks and had some fun. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Ben was the one a long time before I said anything. We were friends for a few years before we started dating and I loved him for as long as I can remember. This is an absolutely beautiful place to be married. So congratulations. Thank you for letting us all be a part of, of this very special day as you begin the adventure now of your lives as, as husband and wife. Back in the old days, we used to have the giving of the bride, but now we realize that nobody gives anybody to be married, but it's a decision that the both of you have made. And yet we also recognize that your parents have been such a big part of your lives. So I'd like to take a moment to honor their role in your lives. So uh, Greg and Colette and Craig and Peggy, could you stand for just a moment, please? Well, you know and care for Meg and Ben better than all of us. You've been part of their lives from the very beginning. Your presence in their lives has been important and will continue to be important. So I ask you now, do you give them your blessing into this new relationship? And do you promise in the days and years ahead to give them your deepest love, understanding, and support? If so, please answer, we do. We do. Thank you, please be seated. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I'm gonna go down with the ship here. <laughs> ben and Meg, listen now for words that talk about what marriage is all about. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and the most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage, but only you can do that through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping, supporting, and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and to let go of the rest. Meg and Ben, this ceremony provides you with the opportunity to have all those present here today witness and affirm the choice that you have made. And that choice is to spend your lives together, facing both life's joys and its challenges while remaining strong in your commitment to each other through respect, friendship, and with a love that will continue to grow through the years. So that's just a rather formal definition of marriage, but just let me take a moment to add just a bit of a personal thought. So Meg, 
I've known you for a long time, and I will never forget the day that you and Tara walked into the church I was a minister at for the first time. You were wearing little white matching dresses, I still remember. <laughs> Natalie hadn't even been born yet. Never could I have imagined that one day I'd be standing in front of you in another white dress, officiating at your wedding today. This is truly a thrill. And Meg sent me the story of how uh, she and Ben met, and uh, clearly this was a match that was meant to be. A relationship nurtured over a common love of adventure, travel, dogs, and whiskey shots. <laughs> <laughs> and Meg, when I first met you, I'd been just married myself, very newly married, and it seems like yesterday, and now my wife and I, Lori, will be celebrating 25 years next year. So I just want to tell you both, it goes quickly, really quickly. So enjoy every adventure, every moment, every experience, every milestone and destination that you reach together. Never tire of appreciating each other, celebrating each other, and just enjoying each other's company. When you have a partner to go through life with, it makes the journey so much more fun and interesting. You know, over the years I've read many great quotes on love, but one of my favorite goes like this. Love is not just gazing into each other's eyes. It's standing shoulder to shoulder and gazing in the same direction. And on behalf of all of us, I wish you both many, many years of love and happiness. So now I'd like to invite Ori to come forward and to read, oh, you're already forward. <laughs> <laughs> and to read a passage uh, um, on called Union. You've known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this moment of commitment. And at some point you've decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you've been making commitments in an informal way. All those conversations held in a car or over a meal or during long walks, all those conversations that began with when we're married and continued with I will and you will and we will. All those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things, and more, are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows you're about to say are a way of saying to one another, you know all, all the things that we promised and hoped and dreamed? I've meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment. Before this moment, you've been many things to one another. An acquaintance, a friend, a companion a dancing partner, a lover, and even a teacher, for you've learned much from each other over the past few years. Shortly, you'll say a few words that will take you across the threshold in life, and things between you will never quite be the same. For after today, you'll say to the world, this is my husband. This is my wife. So just before you exchange your vows, you're joining hands, I'd like to just share a reading called The Blessing of the Hands, and then uh, you'll exchange your vows with each other. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you that same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Bang and Ben are going to exchange their own vows that they've written with each other. When I was a little girl, I always dreamed of my wedding. Who would I marry? What would, I, what would it look like? What would I wear? But when I met you, all of the Disney movie ideas and TLCs say yes to the dress <laughs> became insignificant because I stopped dreaming of a wedding and I started dreaming of a marriage. Ben, there isn't much to say that hasn't already been said, but I want to thank you for being so kind to me always. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for being the best papa possible to Finn and to Charlie. <laughs> Thank you for being a man of integrity, a man of honesty, and luckily for me, a man of patience. <laughs> <laughs> you challenge me, push me, encourage me, and know how to make me laugh. 
Everything you are is exactly what I have always needed. Standing here today in front of the people that we love most, I pledged you these things. I promise to love you with my whole heart for my whole life. I vow to make sure the root cause of the argument isn't just that I'm hangry. <laughs> <laughs> I will never stop dreaming up ways to make our life an adventure. I vow that our home will be filled with learning, laughter, and compassion, and that our marriage will be strengthened by respect and equality. I promise to keep an open heart and mind during challenges, to listen with understanding, and to let forgiveness come easily. Together, we will build a life far better than anything um, than either of us could imagine alone. I'm so incredibly grateful that we found each other. You're my best friend, and I love you so much. Okay. <laughs> Meg, 12 years ago, my family made a decision that would change our lives forever. We moved from Hong Kong to Kitchener. At the time, I was young and naive, and I thought that because of my unique world experiences, that the joy in life was attached to places that I had lived, the places I had visited, and the people that I had grown up with. Growing up in an expat community, I was surrounded by those that had traveled the world, like me, at a very young age. We could relate to one another, share our stories and aspirations. When I moved back to Canada, I was in for a huge culture shock. Through high school, <laughs> and partly in the university, my stories, experiences, and aspirations seem to fall on deaf ears. The past is what defines who we are in this moment. Constantly looking back at the times you once had and the places you've once been holds you back from seeing the adventure right in front of you. The start of a relationship was hectic and rocky at times. There were times that I could only see the past and, you, and was almost deliberately missing out on the wonders that you and this place I now call home had to offer. Constantly comparing it to the world I was no longer living in. It was you who redirected my focus. It was you who showed me the life I was missing out on. It was you who showed me the real me it was not behind me, but it was in front of me waiting to be rediscovered. You allowed me to find me, and in doing so I truly found you. It was in that moment that I knew that I wanted to be with, with you for the rest of my life, and for this I'm eternally grateful. And when I look back now at the places I've been, from Belgium to Bali, and all the places in between, from this day forward, I promise to continue to put you first above all others, and be romantic as possible, <laughs> <laughs> support you in times of need, encourage you to be your greatest self, Fan your flames for adventure, and love you forever. Ryan, right, can I have the rings, please? For the love of God, don't drop them through the cracks. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking the same thing. <laughs> really It'll be one of us who does it, don't worry. <laughs> They're sliding. Yeah. <laughs> These rings are a circle. A circle is a symbol of the sun and the earth and the universe. It is a symbol of wholeness and perfection and peace. The rings you give and receive this day are symbols of the endless love that you share. And now as you place the ring on each other's finger, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. Jesus, it's tiny. <laughs> this ring has no beginning or end. This ring has no beginning or end. It signifies the continuation of true love. It signifies the continuation of true love. As I place it on your finger, as I place it on your finger. I give you all that I am. I give you all that I am. And ever hope to be. And ever hope to be. Meg, I'm just gonna take Ben's ring. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I place it on his finger, and as you hold it there, repeat after me. This ring has no beginning or end. This ring has no beginning or end. It signifies the continuation of true love. It signifies the continuation of true love. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I give you all that I am. I give you all that I am. And all that I ever hope to be. And all that I ever hope to be. She's joining us. Ben and Meg, you have declared before all of us that you wish to live together in marriage. You've made special promises to each other, which have been symbolized by the joining of hands, by the taking of vows, and by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, it is my pleasure to declare you to be husband and wife. 
and you may seal your vows with a kiss. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Thank you everybody for being here today. This is such an amazing, amazing experience. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not over yet. I know, I'm just so happy. <laughs> <laughs> like, COVID wedding is like, it's, I can imagine it more perfect. Oh. Well, it could be warmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It's just, like the last minute stuff that everyone's been both together and help now with it's it's great. Thank you so much. We love you. Yeah. Congratulations. If I don't try now, the chance will slip away. I'll bury all my doubts and I won't be afraid to something Okay, you're sure you may have to. I got you too, bud. <laughs> Something in your touch, baby. The way that your body is moving me. I have written something. It's called Break Connect. Every time we were holding hands, we'd walk, and then there would be a pole, and we would break and then connect. So when you took your first step, you broke away from my arms, and you connected to Daddy's arms. Connect. Break Connect. Ben, from the first time I met Ben, I thought he was an exceptional individual and all I could have wished for in the son-in-law. I always hoped Meg and Ben would end up together. I was cautious though, showing too much enthusiasm it could have caused Meg to have second thoughts. <laughs> it's nice to have a son in our family, someone I can sit quietly with <laughs> and enjoy a football game or other sporting event. <laughs> the fact he is another accomplished engineer and rising in his field is an added bonus. None of my daughters had any interest in engineering, just in engineers. When you waved goodbye to dad all the, on all his flights and then connected with him when he came back home, break connect. So we're just going to have to pretend here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just when I had a chance to touch Justin. <laughs> uh, speech done. When we look back at our lives and the good times that we've had, it seems that we have to admit it. Although we're pretty darn rad on our own, our best moments are ones with you in it. The world is made better because you're alive, and we wonder, how lucky are we that two beauties like you walked into our lives to become unforeseen family? To be rather cliche, you're perfectly matched. You're both weird, selfless, and loving. We're so proud of the people you were way back then and the people that you were becoming. So? We wish for you strength, and we wish for you courage to chase after the things you desire. We wish for you patience, resilience, and hope to conquer hard times that transpire. We wish for you joy, and we wish for you laughter, the good kind that brings you to tears. We wish for you health, and we wish for you passion to carry you all through your years. We wish you a life that's full of adventure. May the good times always surround you. And we know there's no need to wish for true love, because true love has already found. When you lost your dear little Finn, and your heart was broken. But then you connected with Charlie. Break connect. I'd like to say that Meg has gotten better in regards to wandering off drunkenly since having been in her life. However, recent events involving Interpol in Germany beg to differ. <laughs> Thank you to Craig and Peg. 
You've been nothing but welcoming to me since Meg brought me home for the first time that was many years ago. From the delicious homemade meals to the wonderful birthday and Christmas presents, and I mean like really special birthday presents. <laughs> Frick. What, our daughter? No. <laughs> no, those concerts have been amazing. You have spoiled me beyond belief. But most importantly, thank you to raising the most beautiful, caring, and honest woman there is. She truly is a reflection of your love and affection. I love Meg so very much. I will protect her, support her, and love her for as long as I live. And when you've broken away a little bit from our family of four, to now connect two beautiful family of five and all of our family together, break connect. So Ben, all of us connected together, there will be many more times where there will be break and connect, you and Meg. And the most important thing is to stay strong, stay true to yourselves, love and trust each other, and your life will be whole and complete and supported by all of us. We love you both. Welcome Meg to our family. We love you dearly, now we have a daughter. God bless you. I saw you first With new eyes It only took one look One familiar look You flash your eyes You got inside me With just one look Familiar love. Now I want to know you to hold you in mind and not to be a stranger but a familiar of mine. Weeks and months past. Faithfulness pursued me My close friend became my love A love so familiar to me A million miles apart Inside my heart it clung to me 